The next chapter of our business might very well be written here tonight at NXT TakeOver. The icons of tomorrow will sacrifice on the canvas tonight. Talent, courage, and passion. Every NXT superstar is here tonight to smash the status quo. That's what NXT TakeOver is all about. And what a great way to start us off. Hope you're ready. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Everyone knows what's at stake here. contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship. All hands on deck. Please walk the plank, Byron, please. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. right here. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a leap. Introducing the challenger from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kairi Zane. Introducing the champion from Knoxville, Tennessee. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. What a night.
Byron, Bianca Belair's earliest days here at WWE saw her steamroll over nearly everybody she stepped into the ring with. Everybody except Kyrie Sane. Yeah, Bianca has been quite dominant since her start in WWE, but her first loss came in the May Young Classic to the eventual winner, Kyrie Sane. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know oh. this match is going to be one for the ages. We mentioned Bianca Belair's loss to Kyrie Sane in the Mae Young Classic. Normally, a competitor can take solace in a tournament loss when they're beaten by the eventual winner. But I don't think Belair saw that silver lining. Well, that's because celebrating a loss was foolish, Cole. I think it frustrated Belair because she was so close to taking out Sane. And had she done that, the rest of the tournament would have been a cakewalk for the EST of NXT. What a stop! Good grief! Look at this big time slam. Vicious. She goes for the cover. Not much behind that pin attempt. That's all right, Cole. Oh, that'll break you in half. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, nasty impact. The challenger's taking on some offense. Man. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. Now, you know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point. And I think it's only going to get better. We've got a cover. And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. Remarkable. Sharp knee. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. What a clothesline! Ouch! Look at this, Byron. She's almost out of it. Speaking of... Oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior. Kyrie Sane, big move coming. Insane elbow. I think this is the. Looks like she wants to win early. We have the crowning of a new champion. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, hard-fought victory for this superstar, but definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. Opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. Yeah. Coming up next is huge six-man tag team action. We have a team led by a real fan favorite in a match I am sure we will not soon forget. It's dangerous, but I love it.
big time stage for the Undisputed Era. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 397 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champion, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Fish and O'Reilly, two well-versed superstars, very, very dangerous, highly skilled, and mean as the day is long. These were two men that had a reputation that preceded them after their success all over the world. But these are two men who have lived up to those expectations ever since showing up on NXT. It debuted alongside Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 with one goal in mind. Fish. This man is frightening. And their partner from the Rocky Mountains weighing in at 303 pounds Take a look at the size of Lars Sullivan. Everything about the mountain man from Denver is huge, terrifying. Look at his skull, look at his fists. They don't make people like this. One of the most intimidating individuals I've ever come across. Take no prisoners. Seek and destroy. Looks like he's ready. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. oh my. That is a scary sight. The sinister silhouette of the human wrecking ball. Lars Sullivan set to dominate. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. Byron, with the Street Profits out here, I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> All right, Michael, high five. All right, maybe not.
What an entrance. Intoxicating, mesmerizing. Guys, here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business. He has it all, in-ring skill, he's got charisma. And he's got great hair. I fully expect Velveteen to be bald next time I see him after hearing you say that, Saxton. Good point, Corey. Velveteen wants nothing to do with the likes of you. I'm just saying. D-R-E-A-M. Velveteen Dream just soaking in every ounce of the moment. Everything about this guy is money. What a superstar. What an entrance. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. What is he doing? Anything he wants. He's the dream. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, I think it's safe to say that we're entering dream match territory right now. this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong, but now they've really grown into such a major spectacle. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh, look, Bobby Fish is in position. Uh-oh. Is he done? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. What you were saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. later, I still get goosebumps when I watch the WWE pay-per-view. It takes me back to when I was a kid. My friends would come over to watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Guys, it's imperative. He gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a counter. Now let's get another look at those six superstars going head-to-head -to -head and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here are your winners, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Lars Sullivan. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. Oh, it's finally here.
The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the WWE United Kingdom Championship. The Bruiserweight. First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British Strong Style. But he's now moved up on his own and become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. Well, Pete Dunne has earned the right to have a reputation that precedes him as one of the most feared superstars in all of WWE. The icy stare of Pete Dunne is unsettling because you know he's about to hit you in the mouth. This young man here is an incredible talent. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected, made the career decision to join the opportunistic crew known as the Undisputed Era. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunn. Introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Roderick Strong. Get ready for some WWE magic. We've seen some roller coaster rivalries over the years, but guys, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like the rivalry between Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong. Yeah, after Pete Dunne defeated Roderick Strong to retain the United Kingdom Championship, I thought there was no way they'd ever be on the same page. But fast forward just a few weeks later, and they ended up as partners in the Dusty Road Tag Team Classic. Go figure. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. You guys mentioned the tag team pairing of Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong, but let's not forget how that one ended. It was Strong turning on Dunne and joining forces with the Undisputed Era. Yeah, talk about a shock to the system, Corey. I don't think anybody saw that coming, especially Pete Dunne. Just attacking the back. Uh-oh, and a suplex. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Penny predicament. And done quickly kicks out. Wow. A lot of people 
were saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Amaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. Half Nelson applied. for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. <laughs> oh, man! He's making a statement here with this attack. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Going to back suplex coming. No! Must come down. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. The champion into the cover. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. How in the world? He's not going to like this. This could be it. Oh, good night. He's back in control here. The champion into the cover. He kicks out before three. That's too early for that. Ooh, no luck against done there. Too quick. The champ's starting to sweat. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Yeah, it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. He could do it here. Strong gets the shoulder up! Yeah, he's not done yet. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Oh, man, what a strike! Oh, boy, he is rolling. The champ comes into this match incredibly motivated, though all the motivation in the world might not help here tonight. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum. Is that enough for the win? And the champ kicks out too soon. What a stop! Good grief! The champ with reason to be concerned. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. He needs some extra leverage here. Concern for the rules. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Remarkable. Step up and carry. Oh boy, he is rolling. Cross the shoulders, up and away. Just when you thought he had nothing left. No luck 
gets done there too quick. Oh, and there's his speed paying off. Oh, what a slam. Shoulders down, championship on the line. Referee barely had time to begin a count there. Too early in the match to end it. is showing signs that it could be ending soon. We could be looking at the end of this championship run. This is all but over. Oh, and he reverses it. This could be it. Oh, good night. Looks like another victory for the champ. Here's the pin. Title on the line. This guy just refuses to quit. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Two, three, takes him down in a major way, too. Here's the pin on the line. Here we go. Two, three. This is unbelievable. The championship changes hands. That match deserves another look, folks. Who can forget this? This was another great moment. Here is your winner and the new WWE United Kingdom Champion, Pete Dunne. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. The knockout artist, Cassius Ono's here. Making his way to the ring, from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. Cash is oh no, a true student of the game, constantly improving, traveling the world to better his craft. Cash is, is a dangerous man. One of the best strikers in the game can also brutalize you with incredible technique. Cash is oh no, is a tough, tough human being. He is so excited to be here tonight. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Thomas O. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see.
Cassius Ono has long revered as one of the most skilled strikers in sports entertainment. The knockout artist has truly earned his moniker. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Cassius Ono is a true knockout artist, and I think he's fitting to create another masterpiece oh, here tonight. Yeah, you're not kidding, Saxton. I've taken a few of those elbows from Cassius, and believe me, they are tough to get up from. He's looking at it. He's definitely starting to lose it here. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Jaw shattering boot. And Cassius Odo slips out of harm's way. Having this pay-per-view here has to be a thrill for these fans. I can tell you that when Backlash came to Washington, D.C. in 2000, which wasn't all that far from me at the time, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing somebody talking about WWE coming to town. What a stomp! Good grief! This hurts. Oh! And that Backlash 2000 car that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic main event we've ever seen between The Rock and Triple H. And in the end, it was The Rock defeating the game for the WWE Championship, despite Mr. McMahon stacking the deck against The Rock in a major way, including naming Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. Oh, man! Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Reverses that one. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. Bringing it back into the ring. He's on the defensive now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it could really go either way. Corey noted earlier just how big this is for these superstars. This is why they choose to get into this business. This is why they spend those countless hours training a match on the big stage. And you can bet all the WWE hopefuls training in the Performance Center are watching this pay-per-view tonight, hoping it'll be them competing on a W. He might have it. Buenos noches. Is that it? Is it over? X marks the spot on that one. Got the shoulders down. One, two, and the fight must go on. Not yet. Ono wants to put this away. Well, of course he does. Beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. Cast, look out. He's not messing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Harsh impact. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Here he goes. Is he done? I don't know how much more Cassius Ono can endure. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. I'm not used to seeing this. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. This isn't going to be good. Inverted DDT!
Uh oh! Sizing him up. In trouble! Doesn't even see it. Oh, what a boot! Can he finish him off here? That should do it right there. Two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Cassius Ono. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT North American Championship. Wait for it. Wait for it. God, I love when he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The leader of Undisputed Era. Well, listen, the truth is, Corey, when it was announced that Adam Cole was Joining NXT, joining WWE, there was a lot of expectation bestowed upon what he might accomplish. In fact, WWE Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin has even had some very complimentary words to say about Adam Cole. But the thing about Adam Cole is that he has thus far lived up to those expectations. Incredible athlete. Incredible trash talker. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Oh, I love this dude. Somebody's about to get beat up. If you're looking for style points, if you're looking for finesse, you're in the wrong place. If you want to see somebody get beat up and punched in the mouth, sit down and enjoy the show. Tony Lorcan never seems to be in a pleasant mood. You've probably heard your commentary. Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. Introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the NXT North American Champion, Oni Lorcan. What a night.
and we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Nailed it. Superstars really do appear to be in physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Number one contender or not, you'd hope he brought his A game here tonight. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. Going for the cover. Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Too soon. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. Shoulders on the mat. No, he kicks out at two. Not yet. crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. A concerned look on the face of the champ. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, man. You only got one. Make the last shot count. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on, beautiful technique. Big opportunity here. To the ropes in the ref season. Back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright. This could be all she wrote. Nailed it. Nobody does it quite like him. And the fight must go on. Wow. He might have it. Oni Lorcan is in position. You've got to believe this one's over. I'm not sure how much he has left. How is Adam Cole going to remain alive? He'll find a way. The champion into the cover. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. That's all right, Cole. It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The W. Oni Lorcan is in position. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Ooh, what a 
Tallbreaker. A leverage pin here. Hey, it's only cheating if you get caught. Tony Lorcan gets the shoulder up. Nah, not yet. Too early. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Champ seems to have his number here tonight. Adam Cole isn't looking like much of a playboy now. Saxon, you've never seen a playboy in your entire life. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. Five. And it's Adam Cole showing some agility. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Seven. Back in from the floor. Here we go, Byron. Oh, man, I got chilled right now. Oh, this is his opportunity to win this thing. Harsh impact. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Going into the cover of the title of the line. New champion. New champion. We have a new champion. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. He's getting after it here. Check him out here. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner and new NXT North American Champion, and that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more. They love to have fun, but they're as tough as they come. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight. Heavy machinery. Two men, they're a little different. They're a little unorthodox, but they're fun to watch, and they know how to get the job done. Big victory tonight would certainly lead to a few oat sodas after the match tonight. Dozovic and Knight, two tough, tough individuals. The mighty is here. in the 2016 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Shane Thorne and Nick Miller are the mighty and the mighty don't kneel. That's really interesting when you look at the maturation of the mighty. You know, at one point tried to do things the, the honorable way, play by the rules, but I guess career frustration seeped in. These two decided to take a more aggressive route.
Here we go, folks, as we kick off this tag team match. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. He's looking at it. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. show signs of fatigue. We're heading into this match. He and his partner look extremely confident. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Well, ring rattling! I'm not sure how much he has left. Did you see the impact on that? Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. He's in full control now. Landing. Oh, man, Shane Thorne is in trouble. Oh, man, Shane Thorne is in trouble. Oh, man, Shane Thorne is in trouble. Dodges a bullet there. In off the tag. He has something big planned. And look at the quickness by Shane Moore. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. This one's not over yet. Still too fresh. Max, 
crushing clothesline. What's going to happen now? Saxton. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. Victory is up. He's looking for the win. Oh, looks like he's starting to sweat now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount the offense soon. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Sometimes when you're dominating your opponent as much as he's been doing in this match, you lose focus. That's likely what happened here. Tag in. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, close line. Oh, look at this. He thinks he has it. One. And kick it out of Tucker Knight. Not yet. Too early. The fist has been dropped. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Boom. Takes him way down under. Vicious spy buster. This is his opportunity to win this thing. You gotta believe this one's over. And Tucker Knight evades that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. And Tucker Knight evades that one. Clothesline. That has got to be it. 
When this guy's on, look out. Beautiful technique. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these. Oh! <laughs> if that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Look at this. One, two, barely at two and a half. Wow. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Continues. Oh, that hard work and a kidney got a lead. Slam with authority. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He caught him slipping. Oh, my goodness, this hurts. Superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. What a <laughs> man crushing clothesline. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Comes in off the tag. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. This could end it in a hurry. Very difficult position to be in. And a spinning sit out power bomb. That's what he was looking for, Michael. <laughs> what a throw. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. When this guy's on, look out. What a splash. This is what makes him one of the best in the business.
Body with a collar. Beautiful technique. Inching closer to the oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh boy, he is warm. He's making a statement here with this attack. We have seen him here before. Big slam. To think I almost wrote him off earlier. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, well, let's be honest, a light breeze would knock him over. When this guy's on, look out. This could be it. This is all I know. Look at this. This could do it. One, two. This might be it. Oh, my. He's going for the pin. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, what impact. Here he goes. Harsh impact. That might have done it, Cole. He's lining him up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is real. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. He's still in this. In off the tag. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Now he's working that exploit. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. Now he's really sit down. And they're in time. <laughs> One, two. Wow, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. Can you believe what he's withstood here today?
looks for it once again. This one's getting ugly. You gotta believe this one's over. Game, set, match, this one is over. This has been a battle. Scoop slam! Ooh, what impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, that's the impact. Here we go a second time. But can he follow up here? Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. A stop in the leg. Just nasty. Moment. Oh, man. Crushing clothesline. That should do it. Here we go for the win. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. He's got him. Shane Thorne will get by. Left close line. Forcefully delivered. Just when you thought he had nothing left. The shoulders are down. One. Two. Three. A win like that says a lot about a duo. That was a hard-fought victory for those guys tonight, but I hope that young man isn't seriously hurt and is... His partner's going to check on him here. Now, oh, wait a minute. Look out from behind. Oh, my God. A steel chair across the spine. Oh. No. Why? Why are they doing this? Unfinished business. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. They're on their feet for Johnny Wrestling. Heart 
and soul to find who this young man is. To be totally honest with you, a decade ago when I met Johnny Gargano in a VFW hall in Cleveland, I never imagined that he would grow into the superstar he is today. Johnny Gargano has made a career out of proving people like me dead wrong. Johnny Gargano was once a security guard in my security detail back in the day. I didn't know who the guy's name was. Well, you know it. Satanas, Alistair Black. What amazes me about Alistair Black is his ability to maintain complete composure before competing inside that ring, almost embracing the calm before the storm. Black, the trained kickboxer, also studied the Indonesian martial art of Pensac Salat. Former NXT champion was undefeated for a year upon his arrival in the WWE. The story of his life is tattooed on his body. Alistair Black, discipline, the name of the game for this man. And the sole of his foot is tattooed on the body of others. One of the most dangerous strikers in the business. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Introducing the champion from Amsterdam, Holland, weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Alistair Black! Get ready for some WWE magic. You're stepping into the ring with a dangerous man when you face the ominous man from Amsterdam. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. German suplex spike. Boom! I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Boom! Right between the eyes. 
Bringing it back between the ropes. Oh, oh man! Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. Continuing to punish them. A big fight field inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, it's, his shoulders are down. Yeah, I don't believe it, that he didn't win this match right there. The devil on his back must have helped Black kick out there. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Pull your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Now back to the ring. The challenger not in a great place. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Ow. That confidence he had in his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Oh boy, he is rolling. Boom, what impact. Organo. Setting him up. Oh, long dart to the turnbuckle. But he's got to capitalize now. You've got to believe this one's over. I knew it was only a matter of time. Cross face applied. Oh, it's over. It's going to be agonizing for the arm. Shoulders down. This could be it. And the champ kicks out. Very nice. Who knows what's going to happen? This match could go anywhere. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Smart attacking the arm. Black can't be feeling good right now. I don't feel good watching. There may be no coming back from this. Nail Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. And he doesn't stay down for long. Too yeah. soon. Look out. Look out. Ooh, what impact. Victory is on the horizon. And Alex, what a move. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Alistair Black setting it up. Beautiful technique. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. And Alistair quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And he manages to get the shoulder up. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Oh, Gargano dodged that one. And Johnny's so quick. Impact. Going for three. He's making a statement here with it. Look at that. Ooh. Got every out of that one. This could be over. Can Alistair Black stay in this after that? Oh, ghetto. 
setting him up. Oh, long dart to the turnbuckle. Oh, man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. Can Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. What is keeping this competitor going? Blackreach into the abyss to get the shoulder up there. Oh, Johnny Wrestling sizing him up. Boom. This one is over. This is Johnny Gargano. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh, somehow. This is amazing. Taking out the arm. Great strategy. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never. Going for the fist bump, be it! Oh, my. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Black Mass! Can he finish him off here? Here's the pin title on the line! Two! Three! The champion retains. to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.